now we can see uh, more information uh, about botulinum toxin and uh, i suppose you should uh, you should guess uh, sites of action of botulinum toxin would like to remind you a little bit yeah as we discussed cholinergic synapse as we discussed cholinergic synapse we see it uh, that botulina bot botulina toxin botulotoxin sorry belongs to neurotoxin it uh, binds with uh, uh, specific uh, proteins like a snap protein yeah or uh, synaptosomal associated protein it binds with um, vesicle associated membrane protein or vamp and uh, also it interferes with uh, syntaxin and uh, can act on synaptobrevin and as a result it uh, prevents releasing of acetylcholine in cholinergic synapses in cholinergic synapses uh, now let's see uh, sites of action yeah based on this diagram based on this uh, illustration of transmission uh, in uh, ganglions or in uh, parasympathetic nervous system and in sympathetic nervous system what you can say where uh, botulinum toxin will act how do you think botulinum toxin toxin will act first uh, neuromuscular junction neuromuscular junction because in neuromuscular junction we have cholinergic transmission second botulinum toxin will act on autonomic ganglions in ganglions of sympathetic nervous system and uh, parasympathetic nervous system Third, uh, botulinum toxin will block post-ganglionic parasympathetic nervous system terminals. Uh, they also have uh, cholinergic transmission. And fourth site of action of botulinum toxin is a post-ganglionic sympathetic nervous system terminals that release acetylcholine. The one set of action uh, after poisoning with botulinum toxins around 24 to 72 hours and uh, around 4 to 10 days is a peak of action. One set and peak. Recovering. Uh, recovering. Botulinum toxin produces irreversible inhibition uh, in cholinergic synapses uh, as a result of these irreversible changes recovery occurs by formation uh, of new uh, synaptic contacts so basically uh, synapse should be formed de novo in new place in order to continue um, uh, continue innervation yeah, uh, of um, organs or tissues Another question, why botulinum toxin does not affect adrenergic synapses and it affects only cholinergic synapses? The answer is because cholinergic synapse has specific receptors to botulinum toxin. It has specific receptors and uh, botulinum toxin has two chains, 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 heavy chain and light chain. As botulinum toxin binds to specific receptor, it appears inside after endocytosis. And light chain of botulinum toxin produces inhibition of uh, mentioned uh, proteins.